I'm here to influence you in the way you think about the Holy Ghost. If that's not something you want, is someone like me influencing you about who God is and whether he's in the earth and whether he's a person, then this isn't the channel for you. Because if you stick around long enough, you will be convinced. If you do want to know the Holy Ghost as God, you do want to know him in the earth, you do want to know him as a person, then stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Like it. Because we're going down this road. God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. He is a person, He is in the earth, He is the one that Jesus sent, and He's the one we're supposed to get to know and to walk with. Here are some questions that you must ask yourself and frankly get settled. Number one Is the Holy Ghost God? Now, most people would say yes. They would just give a casual yes. Well, the Holy Ghost is God. Is he in the earth? And again, we preach. I have volumes on this. Proving that the Holy Ghost is the part of the Godhead who's in the earth today. And number three, is he a person? Is he a divine being? Is he a divine person? Because it matters. If he's God and he's a divine person, then you should be worshiping him. I'm here to help. I'm here to influence you in your thinking of whether God, the Holy Ghost is, is God, whether he's in the earth, and whether he's a person. It's part of my job. It's what I do to influence you in the way you think about the Holy Ghost. And yes, we will end up worshiping him. If you knew him as God, you would worship him. If you hear what I'm saying and the Holy Spirit starts to minister to you and then you take that next step because you know he's God, you know he's in the earth, you know he's a person, you should worship God. If you knew him as God, you would worship him. If you begin to worship him, he will begin to rearrange your thinking so that you begin to walk with him as God in the earth today and life will be completely different. I'm telling you, when you meet the Holy Ghost, and you know you have the realization that comes over you that he is God you have nothing else to do but worship him and learn how to walk with him he the Holy Ghost is as much God as the Father is and Jesus is let me just talk to you about this for a second now have you ever heard of the Apostles Creed now the Apostles Creed is something that all churches today have in their doctrine these are very fundamental and all their beliefs whether you know they believe in baptism or all this that that's they still believe in this stuff you understand this is what you have to believe this or you're considered a heretic so listen here the Apostles Creed we believe in one God the Father Almighty maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible and we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom were all things made. And it goes on here to talk about Jesus, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits on the right hand of the Father so from thence he shall come again now this right here this is this is doctrine that if you don't believe this you're considered a heretic you understand so according to this Jesus ascended into heaven sitteth sits now presently at the right hand of the Father in heaven and shall come again which means he hasn't yet where is he ah he's still there from thence shall come again with glory to judge the quick and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end and we believe in the Holy Ghost here it is we believe in the Holy Ghost the Lord this is your doctrine we believe in the Holy Ghost the Lord and giver of life 
can I say can I call the Holy Ghost Lord no you are a heretic no I'm not a heretic we believe in the Holy Ghost the Lord the giver of life who proceeds from the Father who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped we believe in the Holy Ghost the Lord who is worship you can worship the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost the Lord is worshipped and glorified who spake by the prophets now the Holy Ghost is a person he's a divine person he is God as equal to the Father and the Son and he is to be worshipped and frankly you can call him Lord now the purpose of this creed is to provide a doctrinal statement of correct belief and orthodoxy and if you veer, veer from it then you're called a heretic but here I am telling you that you should worship the Holy Ghost because he's God in the earth today and people would say that that's heresy they would consider me a heretic because I'm doing what the word says to do and what our creed says to do I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost the Lord and giver of life so this is in everyone's doctrine and people that do worship the Holy Ghost are often called heretics I'm one who worships the Holy Ghost and I've had people say that this is heresy is it heresy not at all Acts chapter 24 verse 14 but this I confess unto thee that after the way which they call heresy so worship I the God of my fathers the God of my fathers not not only you know Abraham Isaac and Jacob but the God of my fathers from 381 you understand the God of our our fathers of the faith so if you are one of us a Holy Ghost worshiper if you're a Holy Ghost worshiper and you're one of us and there are more and more and more every day more people coming into this understanding that the Holy Ghost is God and you should worship him but if you are one of us a Holy Ghost worshiper then you're with a group of people correcting the wrong that we've been living under for so long of calling the Holy Ghost a power or an influence or a force or a feeling we're correcting it listen we're correcting it and we're calling the Holy Ghost God and we're worshiping him which listen enables us to fulfill the full dispensational authority of the Holy Ghost enables him to fulfill the full dispensational authority which he's been limited in we've limited the Holy One Jude 3 it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered to the Saints Is this making sense well brother you sound contentious over this I am earnestly contending and pleading with you that you receive the Holy Ghost as God know him as a person worshiping the Holy Ghost is Orthodox I'm not a heretic when I worship the Holy Ghost you should do it too so we found that he is God he is in the earth yes he's the one in the earth is he a person the Holy Ghost is not a force he's not an anointing he's a person he is God he's a person he's in the earth you should worship him and it's orthodox to do so I know it sounds strange to your ears because you haven't been taught that but that's the fact and that's where we've missed it your worshiping him increases his personhood towards you and I don't know I probably haven't stressed this enough but it's one of the reasons that worship is so important yeah God God wants your worship but it does something to you when I sit there and I go I worship you Holy Ghost it does something to me it says to me that the Holy Ghost is God he's a person and as I'm worshiping him it it solidifies that fact if you will worship him his personhood will be revealed to you if you will worship him he will come and meet you you will meet him he will look upon you he'll visit you 